Oh, shitty b****s. I know. What? My masters? Here's the high ground. Oh, right. <laughs> this is it. This is the one we've been waiting for. Uh, the one I've been dreading. <laughs> Why? Uh, oh, right. Yeah. Well, uh, I've actually got a surprise for each of you. Oh, is it a big Victoria sponge? No. Nope. I've actually tracked down your old sabre hilts and thought now is as good a time as any to give them back to you. What the hackers? Where did you find this? Apparently it washed up on the shores of Otagunga, which I saw, well, the guy who found it posted it on eBay. Whoa, that must have been expensive. £9.50. Whoa. I assume that's a lot. And for you, Kwai, I had to get someone to break into the Museum at the Jedi Temple for this. Oh my force. That is actually cool. Though I thought you said I was buried with my lightsaber. And Anakin, yours is actually buried in the desert somewhere, but I thought you'd appreciate this. Ha <laughs> ha. Which way up does it go? <laughs> Why do they look like they're doing a weird circling dance? We have no army, and I can only protect you. I can't fight a war for you. Why didn't we just send everyone to knock out the Trade Federation control ship? That does make more sense. Jar Jar Binks. Isa, your highness? Yes. I need your Could help. Could you fight a war for me? Please. And you're a much wiser man than I am. I foresee you will become a great Jedi Knight. That's the nicest thing you ever said to me. I said loads of nice stuff. I said the thing about... Uh, with the things... I, I said something about your manner. You have an amiable manner. I am not known for that. This explains a lot. Because we wish to form an ally. Your Honor. Who said D? I am Queen Amidala. Republican credit for your thoughts, Anakin. What do you mean? I guess this is the precise moment you realized you were hitting on the Queen. I was thinking bloody jackpot. Yeah, you can see the dollar signs in his eyes. Slave to King Regent in, what, like half a week? Chaos is a ladder. We start being friends. Okay, now we're friends, first port of call. Would you sacrifice your entire army as a diversion? Draw out the Federation's armies. And turn them blind to all else that moves. Then we gather up our full strength and fight one sick-ass duel. Bombard General. General? Never seen a Sith faint. What if they have low blood sugar? Okay, never seen a Sith faint out of cowardice. Yeah, that's one in the not-Sith column. The battle is a diversion. The Gungans must draw the droid army away from the city. He's right there, and you're literally saying there's people are bantha fodder. Most good friendships start with one making the ultimate sacrifice. Once we get to the main entrance, Captain Panaka will create a diversion. A double diversion. Diversionception. There is a possibility with this diversion, many Gungans will be killed. We shall ready to do arson part. He also noticeably put the most annoying Gungans in the frontline infantry. The vaping Gungans. Well, that is why we must not fail to get the Viceroy. Everything depends on... Oh, maybe the Handmaiden was doing a good impression. Hmm. Big shield made of jelly. Why do they stand so far back? Yeah, if it was me, I'd stand right up to the shield, then I'd just stick my blaster out and, you know... Very uncivilized. Yeah, okay then. Then I'd stick my lightsaber out and I'd... <laughs> and be wearing Beskar gloves. What's the point in the laser pointer if then you're just gonna go... Once we get inside. I thought the battle was going to take place far from here. This is too close. Ah, uh, a diversion. Why don't you send all of your robots to fight some smelly fish frogs? See that guy? Why don't you wait for us to secure the hangar before running headlong into open fire? Sorry, why are you cowering down there like an injured womp rat hiding from a rancor? Shh, do you hear it? Big bad mech. This week's video is sponsored by Mech Arena. 
a free-to-play online shooter available on mobile and desktop. It has these weekly tournament competitions giving you the chance to win rewards. They're the best ways to get resources and upgrade your mechs and weapons. And because you're matched with players at your level, you can play without too much progress in the game. You get a lot of options to customize and upgrade your mechs specific to you. You can use multiple mechs in the arena, which keeps the game interesting. And it's really satisfying finally living out my fantasy of being able to destroy battle droids. So if you're a mech arena player, you should be playing tournaments. If you haven't, what are you waiting for? This one's probably my favorite because you can just jump out of the way when you run out of ammo and you're being blasted in the face. In honor of Plarium's anniversary, our epic space-themed event, Solar Survivor, has kicked off. We've already revealed three new 5v5 maps, the legendary Scorpius mech with its onboard javelin array, as well as new chain gun and fragment gun weapons. Later, we'll be bringing a powerful new missile weapon called the Disruptor, and Chimera, a unique-looking heavy-duty pilot. Also, the 4th of July celebration with our US community has brought the Liberty skin for Onyx and Star Spangled skins for all Macs. It's completely free to play on Android, iOS, and PC right now, and you can use my personal link or scan my QR code to get bonuses worth $30. We're talking about one Missile Rack 6, one Prodigy Crate, and one skin to help kickstart your game. And if you're quick, you can add me to friends as, and we can play some matches together. I can't be blamed for his cover being in the Starfighter. Well, whose fault is it? Well, not mine. Most armies should come in. Ah, that'll be the day. When Ikea shows up your door with their flat, <coughs> their flat pack army flinging meatballs at you. What do you call a battle droid with unimaginative power? Don't know what. Roger, Roger. Poetic. The gun guns are about to get a right royal rogering. Anakin, stay where you are. We'll be safe there. I you who told him to stay there in a literal fighter jet. Oh, that's good. He survived, didn't he? I'm asking, I don't know. Yeah. And maybe you should have put him somewhere more dangerous. Oh, here we chuff and go. This is what the punters have paid the admission prize for. Hmm? We're putting it on YouTube for free. Oh, for goodness sake, Charlie. We'll handle this. We'll take the long way. You know the time, I barely registered the music. Yeah, it just seems so epic. Over time, it just felt like another day in the office. Eric, me. I have 40 credits on that lad. You know what happened. Right, right. Still takes me by surprise. No, just shakes your entire concept of reality. Wouldn't go that far. Could just sellotape two lightsabers together. Same effect. I can't be blamed for that. You don't Oops. blame the Wrong kid. One. Maybe it's on automatic pilot. Oh, how convenient. Why would it be on autopilot for the exact location where the command ship is? Why did you keep going for him instead of waiting for me to catch up? Because. Because what? We were running late. For what? This was our main mission. Oh, all right, fine. I wanted the glory. We could have shared the glory. I thought that if I finished him off, they might make glory. me a master. No, you didn't want to even be a master. master. All right, fine. I had me a two to one to get the final blow. Qui-Gon! See, this is why I didn't tell you. I knew you'd be weird about it. <laughs> really quite nice of him to let us jump across without just hacking at our legs. Yeah, that was really nice of him. Only a Sith deals in politeness. I don't think that's true. Yeah, sometimes I just say stuff and hope people don't question it. Wait, so it's not only a Sith that deals in absolutes? No, that is only the Sith. Look! There they are! That's where the autopilot's taking us! Why did a trained pilot need autopilot? Uh, means nothing. Two droids and maiming a droidica in the hip. Do you know how much coordination that takes? No nonsense could do that. Bring me something concrete or shut your yap. Get us off this autopilot. It's gonna get us both killed. Pretty calm for a nine-year-old Anakin. Facing impending death millions of light years from home, followed by an eternity of your bloated corpse floating through the galaxy. You worry too much, Obi-Wan. Take a chill pill, my master. Go back? 
told me to stay in this cockpit, so that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm taking liberties with what I said. Oh, he'd always do that. Remember that business on Catanamodia? I don't, my master. Don't plead the fifth, Anakin. I really don't. You regrew me from the arm. I don't remember anything where OG Anakin was wearing gloves. What? Is that true, Charlie? Yeah. You did it. I'll try spinning. That's a good trick. <laughs> Poodle ferricking force. It worked, didn't it? Bad decision with good execution is still a bad decision. We tried so hard not to break anything while fighting a full-on Sith Lord. They're just blasting windows to pass the Not time. gonna be cheap, that, to fix, either. That's what, tenth floor in central Naboo? Those are sash windows. Yeah, you need a crane for that. And an artisanal builder. Ascension, guys. Very clean smash, to be fair. That'll make replacing it a bit easier. Oh, cool. I want one for my birthday. Nah, I already got your birthday present. A waterproofing kit. That was so easy. I mean, imagine all your body weight going through a slippy blaster. You'd at least want to grab it like this. Like... Obi-Wan, can you save your breath for the Jewel of the Fates, please? Jewel of the Fates? Is that what it's called? Why? I, mean, I like it, but why? I'll tell you at the end. Uh, you know Kwai is getting on at this point. It's the bit of the fight where you're so knackered that you're just baseball swinging at him. Yeah, batter, batter, batter. Yeah, batter, batter, batter. Yeah, batter, batter, batter. You just felt what? Four stories? Yeah, why? Onto your hand. Sort of. Uh, fine. I expect you to be more brain damaged than Anakin. I slowed myself with the force. Yeah, good work grabbing the end. I'd have slipped straight off. Oh, you do have clammy hands. You shoved him and then flailing elbowed him. Yeah. Badass, wasn't it? Why didn't you just stab him? Being a Jedi is 80% about style, my young apprentice. That's why I have this stylish hair and Amish beard. We were sick, weren't we? We did a really good job of making sure the full symphony orchestra never came into shot. Mm, agreed. Remember when you nearly skewered that chubby blonde kid on the edge of the choir? Oh, dang Farrick, yeah. Thank the Force for those release forms. Why didn't you wait for me? I had him on the run. I could have been of some help. Even if it was just handing you water. Or trying to put him off with like a little dance or something. Oh, yeah? What dance would you have done? Yeah, Miss Windu taught me this one. But a chance right there. But I don't see much dancing. I was too far away. I'd have just looked mental. Oh, and the meditating. How can you meditate with a Sith Lord staring right at you? I can meditate anywhere. It's like meditating when you're on a packed train and someone's trying to tell you that you're in their booked seat. And you're politely trying to inform them that as a Force ghost, they are welcome to sit here too. And also, that seat on their ticket is actually in a different carriage. Hiding under the Gungan explosives truck. Real smart. Yeah. Bearing your ass to the enemy. Jar Jar, use a da booba. But me no have a da booba. It's all there in Art of War. Master Sun, use a da booba. Is that in Art of War? Nope, that's just moronic. Can't argue with the results, though. Put down your weapons. They win this round. This round seems pretty much over. Why don't you try not spinning? That's a cool trick. Shut up, my master. Everything's overheated. Did you try the handbrake? You really are in the belly of the beast. You're jogging. No, I was forced jogging. You feel no sense of urgency. You wanted to kill him yourself, you'll bet. Irrelevant. Your master was in a fight to the death and you didn't care enough to force sprint. Well, if I had force sprinted and the laser fields came back on, I'd have been sauteed worse than Anakin. What? 
You went out in style. I did. I did. It's just a shame that back to tanks weren't invented. When did they get invented? Like half an hour after this. Oh, come on! This came out the very same day. So oddly specific. Lightsaber through the tummy has been pretty much eradicated. It's like the smallpox of our era. For Alfonso's sake. This one's a decoy! You have a giant army to protect you, and then you send your entire royal guard chasing over what you assume is a decoy. Well, what happened to the droidicons? Wish I had one of those right here. What would you keep in it? Tissues, for when I watch the sad bits. I just died, and you didn't shed a tear. I see you every day. Now, if Dex died, I'd be bawling my eyes out. Oh, I see how it is. Jam the doors! <laughs> she nearly fell over. <laughs> Where was this intent when we were fighting before? I was angry at your death. Well, angry, my master. Where does that lead? Well, not angry, but annoyed. You were annoyed at my death. That's the emotion that... It's like you've had to stand up on the bus. I am fuming when that happens. <laughs> Footworks have been off. Sith hadn't been around for a thousand years, and I was a novice. Cut me some slack. What did I always say to you? Oh, I heard the other Padawans talking about you behind your back. Mm, no, the other thing. Oh, yeah, you said, uh, that's loser talk. Talk more like a winner, like me. Exactly. That's loser talk. You're actually doing better on your own. Yeah, as soon as you stop coddling me. That's quite a good metaphor for life. So we did just sell a tape two lightsabers together. That's impressive than I thought. Oh, shitty bollocks. I know. What? My masters? Here's the high ground. Oh, right. Do you not see any of this? I was slumped the other way. I did shout, Can I get an update on what's happening over there? But neither of you answered. The high ground really that important? <laughs> it's the high ground important. <laughs> Only the most important. Obi-Wan, did you never teach him that? Why do you think that this flat is on the third floor? So you destroyed it by accident. That's not what you told us. Yeah, I was just trying to impress Padme. Well, you can't really argue with that. Now this is pod racing. Another 40 quid on you to come top three. It's not actually pod racing, Choir. You got lucky you were such a showboater. Lucky? Yeah, I mean, if it was me, I'd just lean over the edge and use the force to peel your fingers back. That's so sadistic. Or I'd get the force with my lightsaber and just lower it and just... <laughs> Three seconds to react and did nothing. I took him by surprise. Still. Anakin, notice how he actually underestimated my power. I know, my master. You played this clip way too many times during my Padawan training. I think that ultimately I took a bit too much from One it. of the key bits when someone underestimates your power is not to announce it to them. Because then obviously they will estimate your power. Raises their estimation. Well, good work anyway. You killed him. Uh, not exactly. Well, who got him then? Ponyo. Well, I got him, but he didn't die. Oh, ferric me, not Bacta. In the ten minutes between your death and his life-threatening injury, that's when Bacta tanks were invented. You mega-neutered him, and then he fell, what? To a giant melting pit. A billion foot drop into a melting pit and survived. It was their first product. I said, if you'd been born 12 minutes later... It's too late. It's... No. Obi-Wan. Promise. Promise me you will train the boy. Train the boy? <laughs> it's not really a laughing matter. Why did you want me to train him so bad? I promise me, 
It would have been so embarrassing if he'd had to go back to Tatooine. Even as you lay there dying, you still just wanted me to train him to save embarrassment. He is the chosen one. He will bring balance. What exactly did you mean by he will bring balance to the Force? I was delirious, Obi-Wan. I could have said anything. Right. Because at the time there were like one and a half Sith and thousands of Jedi. Balance could be construed as, as something... It's whatever you want it to mean. No, yeah, I, I get it. I, it's just balance may not have been optimal for... A, oh, I'll leave it. We'll talk about it later. We are indebted to you for your bravery, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And you, young Skywalker. We will watch your career with great interest. Oh, cheap as Force Ghost Poodoo on a stick. That all hits different on a second viewing. I know. After you just straight up slayed his apprentice. Apprentice? Did Obi-Wan kill some political interests? I definitely did not. No. Maul. He mauled them. Let's not ruin it for him, Anakin. Together. We shall bring peace and prosperity to the Republic. Mm, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The level of Jedi Knight, the Council does. But agree with your taking this boy as your Padawan learner? I do not. Maybe you should have listened to him. What? You made me promise as your dying wish. Delirious Obi-Wan. Yoda is telling you not to. You already argued against him. I gave Qui-Gon my word. I will train Anakin. Yeah, all right. It's nice, though. Nice sentiment that you'd do it for me. Oh, uh, thanks. Your apprentice, Skywalker, will be. Yay! I was expecting more people. Yeah, we massively overcatered. Not much crying. Yeah, uh, uh, I don't know what we could have done about it. You could have hired a wailing widow. The mysterious warrior was a Sith. Mm. Always do. There are. I'm being cremated and they're talking business. I, I kept shushing them, but they kept just doing this to me. <laughs> master. Oh, it's pulling the master card. Such a f clique. A master and an apprentice. But which was destroyed? The master or the Wait. apprentice? Who's Padme, the master? No. But you're going down the right line. So very sad. I bet everyone could barely get out of bed for weeks. Uh. No, no, no. Oh, 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 o